Um, good evening, everybody. I hope you're doing well and you're enjoying this beautiful month of December. Um, basically, I'm making a video here because um, I'm quite frankly getting sick of all this faded holy soldier versus these uh, Singaporean extremists. Uh, personally, at first I didn't want to get involved, but this is starting to get ridiculous. Now I'm going to disable the ratings because I know that there are many uh, people from both sides, both the Faded Holy Soldier side and the Singaporean side, who aren't going to listen to the message I have to say, and that I think is most important. So I'm just going to give you my two cents on this whole uh, fiasco. Now, anybody who's been a long time subscriber of Faded, such as myself, will realize that he is somebody who makes fun of every single group of people. He's made fun of jocks, he's made fun of um, a um, African Americans, he's made fun of uh, people from the South, and he's made fun of all groups of people. And I knew at one time or another that it was going to bite him. I knew that this was going to happen, but I didn't think it would come to this extremity. And Personally, I think this all started with that whole thing about him making fun of the southern people for not being educated and uh, this whole incest that was going on and just stereotyping one person after another. Then he started again with the whole Brad and Chad and the jocks and how all of them don't really care about other groups of people. Then he started doing this again with the British people and saying that all they do is drink tea and, and all that stuff. And I think that Faded has to be a little bit considerate. Uh, he needs to realize that this is YouTube we're talking about, and there are all kinds of people on here. And some people from different countries aren't going to take that. And this, this is an example. Now, I noticed that this video has gotten him popularity, but at the same time, he's now going to become infamous because of what he said. Now, on the other side... In regards to Singaporeans, I understand how you feel, and I understand that you're hurt, and I and I've realized that you guys are proud people, and I I personally have to congratulate you on that too. Um, I personally am not really an American. I'm a first generation American, but I wasn't born here in America, and I I know how it feels to um. It gets a it, it takes a while to get used to the American humor because they make fun of um, ev everybody, Family Guy and as Peter said in the um, in his previous video South Park make fun of these um, types of people all the time, um, all groups of people. Now the problem I have with the Singaporeans is in regards to the comments. Now I am an African American and. To just go out and lash up on him just because he made fun of a Singaporeans, well, stereotyped, excuse me, the Singaporeans, does not mean that you have to go and bring our group into it and uh, just call them the N-word and all that stuff. Because when I read that, I was a little bit upset. So in a way, you're kind of being hypocrites yourself because uh, you're upset over him saying that... Uh, He's doing all this ching chang chong and all that, which, and I, I can't overemphasize this, that is not good, but that kind of does make you a hypocrite if you're going to say all these racist comments back. Now, I've seen some of these Singaporean responses, and I'm, I'm personally proud that there are quite a handful of videos that gave some mature video responses, and I'm very uh, glad that you did that. Next time, I hope that Faded Holy Soldier will be more cautious when he's stereotyping a group of people. Personally, I don't mind the uh, the humor, but when you start stereotyping others, that's when you start to cross the line. And you have to realize that not everybody, that kind of humor isn't for everybody. Because people will get mad and people will say things that are unbelievable. The part that I'm not understanding is your third video when you said you're going to make an apology video, but yet you put... Um, that a picture of Aaron Tang and then you write please on the bottom which means that you really haven't learned um, or heard what these Singaporeans are trying to say again as I've noted saying ching chang chong hot sauce and saying please 
I'm not Asian and I found that thing with the priest very, very, very offensive. Um, you can't just go and, and say things like that. It's not right. Don't do that. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in this whole situation. I just want Fader to go back to his Mr. Advice videos and his uh, making fun of, not really making fun, but uh, just ranting on MTV and the media and make, and all the American news stories so that we can just put this crap behind us. That's the only reason why I'm making this video. Uh, that's just my two cents on it. Hopefully, Faded, you'll put a very thoughtful um, message behind your apology videos and not try and pull up anything that's going to offend these people. And next time, do not make fun of these... Uh, any, personally, I wouldn't make fun of any group of people. I think you should leave it to the American shows like Family Guy because they are the ones who can pull it off. But you leave it to an ordinary person and it's just not going to work. So that's my two cents on it. Um, any comments that are saying all these stupid things is going to get deleted and the user is going to get blocked because I don't have time for that kind of nonsense. I just wanted to um, express my thoughts. I just want this e-drama to end so that I can wa go back to watching faded videos. One thing that I am afraid of is that once a user becomes uh, infamous for a particular video, then that person starts getting a lot of subscribers by trolls and haters. And then after that, the videos start, all of their videos uh, start getting um, um, disliked. And I've seen so many users just go down just because of one video that they've made or because of one little mistake. Um, and when I say go down, I mean that their channels have been flagged, they've been suspended. Um, and I don't want that to happen to Faded at all because his videos are very entertaining to me. Um, I've seen that happen to ArchMC2012. She is she made one video stereotyping scene and emo kids, and now every single one of her videos, despite the fact that I believe some of them are in good quality and have a good message, all of them have been disliked. The majority have been disliked because a majority of her subscribers are emo and seen kids who just want to troll. I don't want that to happen to your videos, Faded. So, next time be considerate and hopefully um, this this kind of thing won't happen again. Um, and I hope this is a lesson to other aspiring YouTubers or aspiring ranchers. Don't go judging other people's be people because it will come back and it will bite you. That's all I have to say.